Hey, I'm Dave Rubin and this is TYT 140, a lot of news in a little time. The New York Times is reporting that Al-Qaeda now generates half of its operating revenue from kidnapping ransoms paid by European governments. Typically concealed as development aid, the payments made to Al-Qaeda affiliated groups in exchange for kidnapped European tourists are estimated at between $125 and $165 million since 2008 alone. While European governments deny paying ransoms to terrorist groups, internal Al-Qaeda documents suggest that this practice is widespread and that the cash exchanges for prisoners have become somewhat routine. In other extortion-related news, Texas Senator Ted Cruz is actively lobbying House Republicans to oppose Speaker John Boehner's immigration bill. Boehner's legislation would add $659 million to federal agencies' budgets while making it easier to deport Central American minors who have entered the United States illegally. Cruz is insisting that Boehner add a provision to defund Obama's Deferred Action for Child Arrivals program, a suggestion Boehner has so far resisted. The bill is scheduled for a vote this Thursday. On the economic front, the U.S. economy rebounded strongly this spring following a dismal winter. The Commerce Department reported that the economy surpassed expectations by growing at a rate of 4% from April through June. Chief contributors to the growth include increased inventories for private businesses, higher state and local government spending, and greater consumer spending. These bigger-than-expected gains have cemented economics views that low output from the first quarter of the year resulted from, and this is true, unusually stormy weather. You know that $15 an hour wage that fast food workers have been demanding? It may be a little closer to reality today. That's because the National Labor Relations Board ruled Tuesday that McDonald's can be named as a joint employer in several complaints over worker rights at franchise-owned restaurants. The decision could expose McDonald's to liability for illegal management practices in those locations. McDonald's will likely appeal the decision or, failing that, deflect blame for worker abuses onto the hamburger. And finally, guess who's entering into the debate over domestic drones? None other than America's top domestic expert, Martha Stewart. Writing in Time Magazine, Stewart says she loves her new personal drone and mainly uses it for aerial photos of her property. Asked if any of her neighbors in the Hamptons found her drone flying over her intrusive, Stewart said that she hadn't heard any complaints, although she later was seen fiddling with a remote control and muttering something about showing that asshole ditty. I'm Dave Rubin. Follow us on Twitter at TYT140 and suggest stories using hashtag TYT140. We'll see you tomorrow.